you need Dropbox that you don't lose any of your work. So step one, you need to go to www.dropbox.com. If you haven't got an account, go up to the top right, click on login, and then choose create an account. Put your first name, your last name, making up stuff here blah, 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 blah. and you put in an email address make sure it's a real one and then put in your password create the account It'll say that it is downloading Dropbox. If it doesn't, restart the download. But it should say, yep, keep that. It'll download it, and after it's finished downloading, you can install it. Install. Run. You should see a little icon pop up down here for Dropbox. It says it's connecting. I don't know if I click on here, what's it telling me? Um, you've just made an account, so click on I already have a Dropbox account. Click next, type in the email you used, and your password, your computer name, whatever you want to call it. Next. Okay. I don't think you really want to spend any money, and at this stage you get two gigabytes for free. So just click on next. And typical. Uh, it goes through a bit of a tour there. You can you can uh, watch the tour. I'm going to skip it. I'm all set up, and it gives you the option to open your Dropbox folder now. So there you have Dropbox will come up under your favourites, and it's just a regular folder. Anything you put in there is going to be uploaded to the internet and saved there. Plus, if you install Dropbox on other computers, it will also be uh, synced with those computers as well. So even if you drop your laptop down the stairs, you will still have a copy of your material online and on any other computer that you've installed Dropbox on and synced with your account. There's a file there called Getting Started. You can read that for a bit of extra information, but it really is as simple as putting things into that folder. Anytime you want to see what's in that folder, you can go through your file system, there it is, Dropbox, there it is, just like a regular folder. The difference is, you can see it's got green ticks next to these things. That means those things have been backed up. The other way to get to it is to click on, double click on that down there, and that also brings it up. So it's very easy to find your work, and it's very easy to save it there.